right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. So he's coming up on 60 pro MMA fights. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Here he is, the former K-1 World Grand Prix champion, Alistair Overeem. To this point, the UFC gold has eluded him, but he continues to prove with a razor-sharp focus that he can still contend deep into this mixed martial arts career. And Joe, as far as heavyweight finishers go, I'm not sure any man has a better, more versatile resume than the ring. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 100 wins, 44 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, presenting the challenger, Alistair. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 49 wins, one loss. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Indianapolis, Indiana, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Johnson! Ready, fight. Ready. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the planet. Well, what a championship outing it was for him the last time around. A win by knockout. And that really set this division on fire. A lot of people are paying attention to this guy right now. He is sort of creeping into the mainstream Conor McGregor style a little bit. We'll see if he can follow up that knockout with another one here tonight. Front kick to the face. Joe, your thoughts on what we'll see in this matchup tonight? Alistair Overeem has some vicious kicks. Keep an eye out for those. Able to check the high kick. Left kick to the body. The Ream gets caught with that punch. Kick to the body by Johnson. Oh, nice. Oh, a huge block there. Overeem gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Try to establish that jab. Wow. 
That left high kick came out of nowhere. Over him, and yet another kick landed there. Oh. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. This could be it right here. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Take a look at this from a different angle. Boom. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Johnson. So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career.